Good morning. Hi guys, what's up? Good morning. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Makeup is on, casual outfits on because we're going to change once we get to Danielle's, but let's go pack up for a work day. We're going to Danielle's apartment, going to work, record the podcast, do a run through of the live show with Emma, do some other logistical things, and then we'll head back here in like five hours, six hours or so. So we got to pack up for the day. Made that iced coffee. Pretty good. Let's get everything else. I went to Wegmans yesterday and I know that I'm gonna want lunch later. So I'm literally bringing this bag of pickle salad kit. Gals in the go tote bag, linked below. This free people bag. I have a sweatsuit, the outfit I'm recording in, my laptop charger. I'm gonna wear this sweater. Danielle unfortunately said her heat is broken and I have been so cold. I just have like a chill in my bones. So I'm like, I packed all of the things that I could possibly need to keep me warm. Got makeup and touch up stuff. Ben gave me my holiday gifts early. We did like, we're doing an exchange early this year. And this is one of the things that he gave me, which I really needed. It's a new portable charger, but it's one of those ones that like attaches to the back of your phone. This one actually has a stand too. It's an extremely practical gift because I'm still like using the one that has like a wire, which it's great. You know, it's from Target or whatever, but this one, like how fancy is this? And it just literally will hook on my phone. I'll show you. I think it goes that way. Yeah, look. And I just have like the case to fight case on here and I could just, I could even set it up like this. I'm pretty sure this is from Amazon, so I could probably link it down below for you guys. I'm literally, we're recording a gift guide today for Gals on the Go, which is already up by the time this video goes up, so. Go listen to that. If you want the holiday gift guide all in one place this year, Danielle's giving gifts, I'm giving gifts. We're giving gift suggestions. I'm listing this as one of mine because that was like the greatest, sweetest gift. So he got me some other stuff too, but you know, that, this is like the practical gift. We love to see it. Anyways, I'm just wearing, this is Uniqlo Heat Tech. And then I'm wearing my Outdoor Voices like yoga pants just over there because I think we're recording in like pajamas. So I was like, I can't wear pajamas like out of the house right now, but I will be cozy today for this long day. And then I have this sweater. This is just from Free People. Comfy, cozy. All right, let's head over to Danielle's and get going on the day. next segment is in partnership with Ulta Beauty and Living Proof. We're fresh out of the shower. I just exfoliated my skin so much that I don't know if I have any skin left. No, I do, but I really went hard because tomorrow I'm getting a spray tan and it's this V spray tan for the Gals on the Go live show and I want it to look so freaking good. So I was just exfoliating all over. Like I, I'm just, I'm just a body at this point. No, I went in with moisturizer because then that makes my skin like so, so dry and it's cold outside already. So I'm just a dry girly. And now it is time to tackle my hair. And I'm going to show you guys what I've recently been doing. I always get a lot of compliments on how shiny my hair looks. No, I actually sound so annoying, but like I actually genuinely do. A lot of you guys ask me my hair routine. And that is why I am so excited to be working with Living Proof on this vlog today because this is a product that I have been using for for so long now so when they reached out and they were like hey let's work together the triple bond complex i was like you're kidding i already use that every day this is a fresh bottle of it i'm actually like basically out of my bottle of it but we'll use the fresh bottle so i'm kind of freshly out of the shower i mean like i put on lotion and like kind of let my hair air dry for like a little bit but not too long like you can see it's still like very wet and that is when i go in with this product this is a weekly leave-in treatment and like hair mask but i use it more as like a post shower treatment of sorts because it actually protects your hair for heat up to 450 degrees which we're going to use heat and i always want my hair to be super healthy if i use like 8 million things in my hair it just gets weighed down and like not looking good so that's why we love this product it's called the triple bond complex because we're getting scientific it has three types of bonds this is like a throwback to high school chemistry class for you what are the three types of bonds a little quiz for you i definitely didn't know so i'll give you the answer hydrogen ionic and covalent i just do two pumps of this like i said in my freshly showered hair rub it through my hands and I rub it all throughout my hair and focus it kind of on the bottoms. So it's like a heat protectant, a mask, a strengthening treatment, all in one. So this is scientifically proven to make your hair eight times stronger. And I actually do believe that. Like, I feel like my hair is really in a good place right now. And I have to say, this is what I've been using. 
so that's cool you could also keep using your other products and it will literally make them work better if that's up to you but i do try to keep it minimal because i don't like my hair to be too weighed down and you guys know me when i find something that works i will stick with it forever so you could pick up the living proof triple bond complex at ulta I will have the link to it down below. I'm going to sit with this on for about 10 minutes right now, just so it can like work in and then we'll get to heat styling. And that's it. How simple. Okay, we waited 10 minutes and you can see my hair starting to naturally get a little, uh, you know, the way it gets. I am doing this new thing where I clip up half my hair and then I take it in sections just because it's a little bit easier to work with. But basically what we're gonna do is use this brush end of the air wrap and just completely dry the hair and then I style it after. I used to try to work with it when it was wet and like add curls and stuff when it was wet and I just didn't like that. I feel like it looks better to give the hair a nice blowout and then go in afterwards and go in with curls or whatever else you're doing. At least for me, that's what I'm finding looks really good. And then this is what my hair looks like when I'm done. I just literally sectioned my hair in two parts, ran the brush through it, and this is what we get. Just straight, sleek, not a ton of flyaways, which I really like, even though I, I know I have them. It's a good straight look. And now I'm going in with the curling barrels to curl it up. I'm gonna do the same thing where I clip up half of my hair, except that now it's dry. Every time I do something funky with my hair, I feel like a founding father. And then I'm going to get going on the curling. So I curl it away from my face, so we're going this side first just because that's the barrel I put on. It's pretty self-explanatory and you have to figure it out on your own hair, but I grab it from the bottom, kind of roll it up, hold it for a little bit. Nice curl, all throughout. And I'm ending off with Living Proof Hairspray. It will fall, so that's why I don't like to brush out the curls. There you go, an amazing voluminous blow out at home and i am so bad at doing hair so if i can do this truly anyone can and it's just gonna look better throughout the day you'll see i'm obviously gonna keep vlogging today and you're gonna see it's going to look much much better as it falls that's just the, the way the air wrap kind of goes now i need to get to a lot of tasks and you could pick up the triple bond complex by living proof at ulta beauty i will have the link down below so the thing is with the gals on the go live show and that's why like i feel like i've been talking about it so much it's just because Danielle and I are literally doing everything. And Emma, she's been a great help. Obviously, like our managers, our agents, like people are helping us. But at the same time, every little piece of it needs to be coordinated by us. We definitely knew that this was, you know, what happens. But it's as simple as like, oh, we're selling merch. Where is the merch getting delivered? Who's storing the merch? How are we selling the merch? And we're doing everything from the ground up. I got like the square readers here. I just set it up on the iPad. Danielle's setting it up on her iPad. It's just a lot of moving parts. So that's a little bit about what I've been doing. I need to record podcast ads that are going in tomorrow's podcast. I'm gonna do that right now. It's just a lot of moving parts, you know? I'm really thankful to be so busy because like, that's amazing, but it is a lot. And if you haven't been keeping up, I've been doing Vlogmas on TikTok and Reels. You might be like, Brooke, those are just a few moments of your day, like string together, like that doesn't require much effort. But actually that's been, you know, at the top of the agenda every day. It's like I wake up every morning, gotta get that up. If you go to my TikTok or my Reels, which is just my Instagram, and look at Brooke Michio, I'm doing a mini vlog every day. It's like under 90 seconds of my day, but just clips of whatever I did with a voiceover. And I'm honestly really happy with how those are turning out. I feel like they're really fun and really personal. And it's like, just me like almost like on FaceTime. Started off with filming the podcast. It was so cozy. Danielle was filming for Vlogmas. It was very cute. And then Karen and Emma came over and we did a run through of the live show. I feel like my vlogs are like that too, but that was like a challenge I wanted to do this month. And of course it's like that, plus the vlogs, plus the podcast, plus the live show. Like I just, I commend, Danielle's literally doing Vlogmas right now in full. So I commend her for that. But yeah, we got a lot of things to do. And then we have a nail appointment because we're finally swapping out these nails for something a little more gals in the go theme. Okay, well, my night took a turn. It's all good, life happens. Um, Mickey had an emergency, so she canceled. Well, not canceled, but we're moving my nail appointment. And instead, now I have a little bit of open time and I was planning on already cooking myself dinner, but I'm like, now with this open time, I could go to Trader Joe's instead. 
so you guys get a Trader Joe's haul, which I know everybody loves, and I'll get some fun holiday things too. And then I actually scheduled myself a flu shot for tonight, like 6.30. I'm making my list for Trader Joe's now because we know that I tend to get overwhelmed in grocery stores and I end up flopping, so I'm like, okay, let's make the list now so that I don't mess up. I actually am on like a BuzzFeed article right now, 47 cheap and easy Trader Joe's dinners. And it's like, you know, things to combine. Like I just need visual visual aids and like things like this, like pictures. Don't mind my Revolve ads on the side. Anybody else get the craziest targeted ads? I'm like, it's a little too close to what I'm looking at. Do we believe that like our phones and everything like that they're like listening to us? Cause I definitely do believe that. I feel like it has to be true at this point. How are they really listening? In all the marketing classes and whatever I learned, I, I, I never fully learned like that. Like, are they, you know, like how the voice goes into the system and goes to ads. I've learned about how your search history could be used, but not how like your actual words. Some of these combos are interesting. Shrimp and broccoli mac and cheese. I will pass. I just got some things in from Amazon. So before I head out, I guess I could do like a little I mean, it's not really so much of a haul, but you know, more mighty patches. My skin has been suffering without them. I'm on my period right now, so I feel like it's just not good right now. These, I was inspired. I feel like I kind of missed the moment with these, but you guys know I have problems with wearing my hair up. I'm working on it, but I really like headbands, I think, because I could wear them in a way where my ears are like flat <laughs> this is so crazy insecurities of mine these are like those fabricy headbands i'm trying to think what would match my outfit today like i could wear this gray one even though i just did my hair so i probably don't need it you see here ow i just flicked myself in the eye with it like i could wear it in a way that like my hair is down whatever like if i'm having a bad hair day but it still covers my ears like i could I could also wear my hair up with it and like it have it cover my ears. So I got this pack because it had a brown, which I like. Like I feel like it would be cute wearing like a brown sweater with a brown headband, a day that I'm whatever, and these neutral colors. So I thought that was cute maybe. Maybe? What do we think? Finally got these makeup powder pops that everyone's been talking about, especially on TikTok. I'm late to the game on these, but these are supposed to be really good for like baking and setting your makeup. Like you do it in the loose powder and do a little dab. They weren't very expensive and apparently they're really good. They're like velour-ish. Oh yeah, they're really soft. So I'll just pat in my makeup with that. But I could see how these are really effective. I got a big gift bag. My mom told me about these. This is like a big hack, I guess. In a way, I'm giving Ben a KitchenAid mixer. I'm bringing it over tomorrow. It, the box is back there. It's massive. It's a huge box. And I was like, how am I going to wrap this thing? And my mom was like, oh, you got to get one of those big gift bags. So pro tip from Adina. If you have like an appliance or something you're giving, yeah, you get one of these. It looks like it's, it's whatever. It's just a big old bag. And then you tie it up with the string. So that's cute. I'm not great at wrapping gifts anyway, so attempting to do that would be a flop. This is a big, <laughs> big lifesaver. I got this the other day, actually. I didn't even show it to you guys. This is an Irish cream syrup. This I'm really excited about because you guys know I love my Irish cream cold brew and I've been really trying to make Nespresso drinks and like make them all yummy and work for me and my lifestyle. So I'm really excited to try this out. I haven't tried it yet. I actually didn't even do my Nespresso today. Some headbands, some powder puffs, a new coffee syrup, bimbo patches. This was a very me haul. And then like a really convenient situation for wrapping a gift. The later I wait, the worse the weather's getting. And it's just gonna be busier because we're just getting, you know, later in the day. So I really gotta go. So let's go. Okay, this is what I settled on for the outfit and I'm gonna carry an umbrella. It's only like 56 today. So pretty casual grays. This little jacket thing is from Free People and I haven't worn it since last season. I do really like it. I think it's a little dirty, but <laughs> such is life. And I decided I will wear the headband because F it, why not? This is my like running errands purse. Let's go to Trader Joe's. Let's see how chaotic it is. Let's take bets if I'm able to get actual things or if I just get carried away on snacks. I do have like meal things that I need. So hopefully I actually accomplish what needs to be done. took out the ring light for this because it gets dark in my apartment and we just we need to be serious for this Trader Joe's haul serious business it started raining on the way home like it was like 
that like misty on the way there and I was like you know it's fine and then the way home is like really raining and dark but that's fine because I think I actually did a pretty good job so I'll show you everything that I got starting off with these flowers these are they're actually baby's breath I saw this on TikTok it's called like unicorn baby's breath or whatever because they're all these different colors I just thought it was fun a little bit more exciting than the usual like plain and I like these like pastel -y colors first bag I brought my big reusable bags they have the best totes Trader Joe's use them for everything it's a lot of cheese so be warned I got shredded cheese this one is so good I have eggs that I could do it with and I think I'm gonna use it on dinner tonight these are like my favorite snack if you warm them up they're even better but just on their own the mini brie bites I try to get them when they're in stock because they're not always in stock they're really good really good i wanted to get some fun holiday stuff i'm hosting a white elephant party here tomorrow so that will be in another vlog like setting up for that and whatever but i did want to get some like festive sort of things for that so i got these dark chocolate stars i actually have had these before they're like shortbread cookies covered in dark chocolate they're delicious i already have ingredients for a cheese board too this is just a good meal lentil soup you can literally heat up in the microwave or on the stovetop i love it and it's actually really filling it's like a lentil-y chili i got this dip just to have this is the spinach and kale greek yogurt dip i really like this one not for today but um just to have i saw washer pillowcases or cat on tiktok i love following her she's so fun she has been making these like greek bowls that look so good and the base of them she does couscous so i got these just to have well not these i got this just to have in the cabinet so that when i inevitably want to finally make them i have this so planning for the future i got some zucchini i might use this in tonight's dinner or i could save it i needed a vegetable <laughs> this i got the last time i was there too and it was fire french style flatbread with mushrooms and a blend of cheeses but it gets really, really crispy. It's delicious. It's kind of like, since it's so thin, it just gets like crispy and light and it was a really good dinner. I had that in like one, maybe my last vlog or my second to last vlog. To go with this dip or just to eat on their own, I love the crunchy curls. I try to get these when they're in stock too. A lot of this stuff has been like in and out of stock. So I'm like, when it's in stock, I have to grab it. For tomorrow's cheese board, I got cornichons for tonight's dinner i got microwavable brown rice it's really good to have honestly i really like coming home after like if i you know i'm hungry when i come home late i like actually eating this with soy sauce and sometimes an egg on top so random i've been doing it since college it's been like a go-to like i'm hungry and i just want like a carb in me food you know i can't really cook that much i'm gonna try it tonight i can't believe i got this you can roast me I actually don't but i've never actually purchased mistletoe but i was like it was right there by the register to like throw in the car and i was like I have like not me like I just thought it was cute I don't even know what I'll do with it for tomorrow's cheese board I also got rosemary and just good to have in the fridge this is for tonight I haven't tried this yet but I'm really excited carne asada authentica and I heard on tiktok and a few other places that this is actually really really good sometimes their meats I don't want to say sketch me out but like you know stuff like this like that's like pre-seasoned and like in a marinade kind of sussed me out but I've heard since I heard that this was good I trust it and chicken hasn't been sitting right with me recently so I wanted to do that also for tonight's dinner I got salsa and maybe I'll eat with chips so I'm making like a burrito bowl really easy burrito bowls oh and then I got sour cream too very very easy burrito bowls I've been cutting my own stuff sometimes but you can't lie like having pre-diced onions it is so easy and convenient to have this pack for breakfast like if i want to make an omelet in the morning with eggs this like i could like you know get these um what do they call it caramelizing and then i could add in my eggs and stuff like that's kind of a vibe this i will go through i eat it in two servings but it is so good i can't even add an egg if you want it to be a little more filling the japanese style fried rice it's amazing i wanted to get like some sort of fruit or something with like vitamin c I'm gonna try to drink some green juices the next few days just before the live show and whatever you know fuel up uh, but I got pineapple chunks because that sounded good. I'm not crazy into fruit if you know me So um, I have to go by what looks good and that looked good They also had mango that looked really good and then this is just an avocado It's really hard so can't use that anytime soon, but that is the haul Hopefully I'll have like a lot of extra for the burrito bowls. So that should be good All right, i'm gonna put all this away and then I actually need to do a few computer things and then I don't know I guess we'll get our flu shot and then cook after that because it's already five o'clock where does the freaking day go guys with the sun setting so early it really just it's like good night 4 p.m okay mickey just 
uh, texted me and was like, can you come now? Um, so I'm glad everything's okay. I mean, yes, I can and I will. So I'm gonna gear up and head over there. I just quickly had a snack. I had these crunchy curls in the dip. And I guess I'm not getting a flu shot because I need to get my nails done for the live show. Oh, at least not today. I'll definitely get the flu shot. Maybe later in the week. Maybe tomorrow, actually. I'm actually bringing with me her Christmas gift, which I just got her a candle and a card. I feel like I'm really turning into my mom because I'm like, am I gonna see you before the holidays? And I'm like t giving people Christmas gifts now. I'm fully embracing the fact that I am Adina, so. It's all good. There are worse people to be. So yeah, I guess we'll be eating dinner pretty late because I know the nails are gonna take a while. That's okay. Let me pack my book. Let's head over there. I am back. It's already like eight o'clock. Well, let's make dinner. Also, I got these really cute just pink tips because I'm wearing pink for the gals in the go shows and I wanted to like kind of match not be like too crazy but also probably I'm gonna have these through the new year so I wanted to do like tips because then if my nail grows like it's not the end of the world so it looks like the thing that's gonna take the longest is the carne asada this is like a very easy bowl night just for me and then the leftovers will be leftovers I feel like I keep cleaning and yet everything is still a mess I, I don't know how that's exactly possible but <laughs> it is so with that being said, I'm gonna use my always pan and olive oil. I need to get like maybe a measure measuring device for this. I mean, I could just use like tablespoon or teaspoon measures, but I, I haven't been doing that. It, so it says you can make it a bunch of different ways, but I'm gonna do the stove top. Cook and heat on medium to high heat. I have the fan on. My spatula for this pan is dirty, so I'm just using like a regular spatula and cooking up this meat. I actually do have a meat thermometer too, so I could check to make sure. It says to get internally to 145. I do have one of these. I got that when I was in Boston trying to be in my cooking era then. I'm just always trying to be in my cooking era and it never really lands. I think I am in my steak era though, because like I said, the ch chicken has been freaking me out. And this just sounds good to me right now, like I'm craving it. And I'm gonna watch Firefly Lane. I like said, I was watching it yesterday. I got through half of an episode because I ended up having things to do. I haven't really been watching a lot of TV and not to be like, Ugh. I'm just like not watching TV. Like I'm so busy. Like I actually just haven't been. I feel like I've been like scrolling on my phone more, I guess. Cause obviously that time is filled. I miss it. I miss being an avid TV watcher, it really. <laughs> and I guess I'm reading, but not like barely though. I haven't finished a book in like a week. <laughs> We have the rice going, following the instructions and laying these to rest for two to three minutes. But that's probably the time that I need to assemble this bowl anyways. This was like the quickest dinner ever. I'm now realizing I probably should have had a green, a salad green or something. But I feel like I read something recently about romaine that freaked me out. I didn't want to do like spinach or whatever. It really can't get easier than this. Half of this bag of rice. taking a spoonful of this salsa. We're gonna mix it all together, but I'll at least attempt for it to like look pretty at the start. Okay, let me tell you, I just tried the meat and it's so good. So I have that on there now. I cut it into some strips. Now I'm doing shredded cheese and I will mix this bowl all together before I eat it. I definitely could have used a green, but you know, everybody makes mistakes. I'm overall pretty happy with the result. As me with the gift too, she just went to Japan and she got me these matcha Kit Kats, which I'm really excited about. I just need to confirm that there's no nuts in them, then I will try one. I mean, I could probably assume there's no nuts in them, right? Let me check. According to my research, they should be fine. I mean, it really should be fine because it's really just like, I love I love Kit Kats. They're my favorite candies as a child. It still probably is. I've actually never tried these before, the matcha ones. I, f I feel like you can maybe get them here, but they're probably not as good as getting them over there. Let's see. They taste like regular Kit Kats with like, mm, now I'm getting the matcha. They're really good though. I was expecting it to be way more matcha-y. It's like afterwards and it's light and really nice. It tastes more like chocolate, like a Kit Kat. That was so sweet of her. Okay, so this is my skin right now because I picked at it, which I do not advise. It's not too bad, but luckily I got some new pimple patches, my faves that always save me. I like want to like other ones. And there are some brands that are pretty good and will start like get close. But these are just so elite, the Mighty Patch Hero ones. I don't even want to know how much I spend on them on Amazon throughout the year. 
way too much because I'll pretty much run out of a box and order another one. I just want my skin to be good before the live show. I mean, it's definitely like coverable. It's not the end of the world by any means. I can figure out. I've just been putting Neosporin on. Honestly, sometimes I put Neosporin on breakouts and it helps too. Kind of random, but also just a lot of moisturizer. This I get from Dr. Jody. It's just like an oil-free moisturizer. I also really like this one. This moisturizing cream from CeraVe for extra hydration in these months. Also, I decided I am into the headband, but I got makeup on it, but it's really practical to keep your hair out of your face. If I could do a no makeup day with the headband, that would be really good because then I wouldn't have to worry about my makeup getting on it. Ugh, I'm getting a spray tan tomorrow too, so I'm really looking forward to that. And that's also why I want my skin to clear up because I'll feel more confident. I don't know. I just feel like my spray tan will go on better if I'm not like actively like, you know, huge pimples on my face, but we're working on recovering right now. We're in our glow up. Also, I know for certain that I have the brow serum of this somewhere because I was just using it the other day, but I will tell you I use a lash and a brow serum the nights that I do remember to also. I really don't do too much skincare. It's really like moisturizer, dealing with whatever I'm dealing with. I do use these serums. This one's from European Wax Center. It's the Brow Building Serum, and I just put that on my brows and rub it in. I don't know. I mean, like not that I've noticed crazy growth, but I've been using it pretty consistently for a while now and I'm happy with my brows, so maybe it's working, I don't really know. I've been using, I kind of switch up the eye serum, the eyelash serums I use, but I right now I've been using one from Vegamore, and I just swipe that. I feel like it's important to show my skin like this though, because I don't know, sometimes I go on social media or even TikTok when I'm having like a good skin day and people are like, how did you clear your skin, oh my God. And it's sometimes like this. You know, it's not always like 100% clear or even like glowing or anything, you know, like I feel like it's consistently like okay and then right now I'm on my period so that makes sense. But I just do think it's important to show and be real that it's not always perfect. I'm literally putting on another layer of moisturizer because my skin is so dry. Just loading up. Oh, I do use eye cream though. I've been trying this one recently. This one from Glow Recipe, it's good. I don't really like it, you know. It's good. It does have a pump, but I'm like at the bottom of it. So <laughs> I'm going to the bottom and doing it like this. I do like using an eye cream. I think it's good for the areas, you know, around your eyes, whatever. And that's it for the little evening skincare bit. I'm gonna keep reading this book. I started it at the book salon. The started at the nail salon and I really liked it. The good thing about these cotton headbands is I'm pretty sure I could wash them like in the regular wash, maybe on like delicates, but I'm gonna get in bed. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. I really enjoyed spending the day with you. Two days, but like more today was like the, the vlog content. The dinner was really good. I'm actually really shocked. And I was able to save all of that extra meat. I cut it up into like little tiny pieces and I'll have it the next few days. Stay tuned for the next vlog. Make sure you're keeping up with the vlogmas that I'm doing on either TikTok or Reels because I'm including some clips that like I haven't been including in here and stuff. A little bit more intimate. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.